Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be drawing and painting this picture of a lady in a late 19th century to early 20th century cycling suit. Um, my goal for this painting was to practice drawing a landscape background like many people I suffer from being bad at backgrounds and I always just draw people standing in the void so this time I thought I'd pull myself together and compose a whole picture with a background. Um, when painting this I just finished playing um, The Excavation of Pop Sparrow and if you haven't played this game please do, it's amazing. Um, uh, the game is set in rural England in the late 19th century and it's all pixel art, but the backgrounds really amazingly convey a foggy and mysterious atmosphere via the colors especially so, uh, to the point where when you squint it looks almost like a photo even though it's pixel art. So I thought I'd try and harness some of this uh, inspiration energy um, that I got from this game and use it to finally try and get good at landscapes, which I've always been, been really bad at. Um, my head just doesn't do well with those undefined masses like foliage and grass, and I never know how to depict them, so this is me trying to do that. <laughs> um, as you saw, I did the drawing digitally and also um, did a test run, which ended up being quite uh, extensive, a uh, test run of the coloring digitally because um, I've always wondered whether it's just because I haven't really painted digitally seriously that much that I'm so bad at backgrounds. Um, I always see people do amazing landscapes on the computer and wondered whether it's having those digital tools like masking that make it so easy to... Uh, that makes it so easy, so I just had to try it. Um, I'm quite pleased with how the woman turned out, um, but not so much in the landscape. Uh, it really suffers from, suffers from the fact that uh, you can't, or at least I can't, get those painterly and varied brush strokes that you can see on, for instance, a romantic landscape painting, like um, the paintings of Constable and Turner. I know it comes down to having the right digital brushes and using them, but I just don't have the patience to do that when you can just do the same thing easily with one brush, uh, traditionally. Um, so I'm just printing out the drawing and tracing it onto a gesso board by applying some dark red pan pastels to the back of it and tracing it with a ballpoint pen. Um, I painted the initial lines with egg tempera since I found that uh, the surface of egg tempera kind of holds onto the brush strokes that go on top so that the brush strokes want to stay within the bounds of the lower brush strokes so that kind of kind of gives you a digital masking like effect which I find really useful and um, it allows for making some really crisp shapes um, and you don't have to worry about constantly cleaning up and correcting your edges um, when it's easier to just paint exactly within the same shape below. Um, I paint the rest of the painting with casein though um, as I find the colors in casein are just a bit nicer than those of tempera. Casein is more opaque and bright and its colors a while Tempera is a bit more dull, I find, even though it's more transparent. Um, I don't think those few lines are gonna, those few tempera lines are gonna make a difference when it comes to the painting being archival. Um, I've heard of people using casing and tempera together, and they're both animal binders that make for radiant paint surfaces, so probably not that big of a deal. Uh, the painting is doomed anyway, since I used some neon pigment for the jacket.
very sadly here uh, the camera overheated when I rented the jacket and didn't save the footage before it shut down so very tragically this footage was lost um, but yeah I hope it's okay since you saw the digital rendering of the jacket and, and the face and it's basically the same just with the paint. My goal for the background was to make a background with a kind of narrow value range that was uh, lighter than the person in the image, so not really a re realistic overall lighting scheme.
So this is the finished painting. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. See you in the next video.